Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. We have a new game for the channel, DASX Mankind Divided, for the PC of course. Much anticipated. Guys, I can't thank you enough. I love you guys, best audience out there. <laughs> My only audience. <laughs> uh, you guys have been great, I'm glad to bring you this brand new game. Uh, the latest in the Deus Ex series, I love Deus Ex, I played all of them. I think at some point I'll do Invisible War in the Game of the Year edition. Uh, those are really, really old, original ones, but uh, uh, for now, I've done Human Revolution with the DLC. We just did the fall, and now we're moving forward to the predecessor to Human Revolution. Um, I've never seen a game suck like a whore. The video memory this game does, it is insane. It's putting my new computer, not the computer itself, the video card, it's taxing it. It's not maxing it out by any means. It's a GTX 1070, but it is, it is eating it. Let me tell you, I think it's six gigs of video RAM just to run the game on, on Ultra. And if you're new to the channel, Balamore is my handle name. Blind Gaming is my retinal degeneration that I have. Um, it stands for the Stargardt's disease I was born with. So I have peripheral vision, great peripheral vision, but I have no central vision. So all my games that I play are as a blind guy, uh, but I don't think you guys can actually tell. I always mention at the beginning and end of the videos why I made the channel. It's to test my vision so I can feel accomplished. So if I can do it, you definitely can do it. Just. Just remember that if I figured it out and you see me do it, there is no reason whatsoever you can't, even with some hard work, because games like Dark Souls will be doing the DLC soon. Those are tough. And uh, I mean, I'm not a pro, but if I'm able to do that kind of stuff, there's no reason you can't. So just keep your hopes up if you're having trouble struggling. We are going to play this game on max difficulty that is available. There's another mode that you, looks like you have to beat the game, but I tried it on normal and it seemed a little, I did die, but it seemed a little too easy. Um, so I'm gonna jack it up just to test myself a little bit. And if you're new to the channel as well, I'd love to have you click the channel link below the video. I have a playlist tab, go through, I have plenty of games and I do them in the order it's received right now because we don't have like a bazillion subscribers in the channel yet so it's I'm able to keep up for you guys so as you tell me as long as it's not complete utter trash and for the PC I will look into it and most likely put it in the channel uh, lineup so you guys are great let's get to the gameplay there is a very long video it's like 10 15 minutes something like that we're gonna skip it and uh, if you want to see see that I will be happy to record that separately just let me know in the comments below Otherwise, guys, let's do this. This I'm hoping is gonna be yum, 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 yum. And this, I wish I could flip it to this, but I can't yet. So let's do this. I once thought I could save the world. Look how pretty it is. Oh my god. Now look at it. I'm geeking. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. <laughs> Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world Turn to flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Look at this group patient there. Sometimes, you just have to let go. Oh, there we are. And embrace what you've become. What the hell was that? Did you see that? Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, 
sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. God, those graphics. Listen up, all of you. Kills me. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Is Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, Things got gruesome real fast. And no one, I'm except for some, some homeless junkies, there. have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I hope not. I'd recommend taking a little hardware. Just to be sure. Oh, yeah. Damn, look at that. Oh, my God. I think we want... Lethal. I'm not leaving my six exposed. Give me something lethal. Your call, but Singh's undercover in all this. So watch your fucking sights. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Mm. Distance. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. We'll keep an eye out for it. Oh, there's a Are we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last the minute. Level of detail so we're just... scrambling a little. If it I comes to it, it, your number one priority is keeping the gin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Action. This is Knife Leader. Engage Hush Drives and descend to Angels 1-5. takes a lot of power to do that too. In the game we just did, the fall, he did that and uh, blew everything out of his, all of his circuits. Oh, look at that. Team leader, this is Jensen, I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. 
Miller out. Look at the level of detail. Oh my god. Even the birds. That's that's crazy. It, it, it's just so smooth. Ugh. You guys should see this on ultra wide with uh, max resolution running G Sync. Ugh. But this is just as pretty, it's just not as big. Sneak in. Shazam! <laughs> we just punched the grate. Alright, so let's go over quick. Hopefully we don't get interrupted. Our UI and everything. Just because I like to show it to everybody. You may never play this game it do unless you get it for the console. PC is so much better looking because there's so many more options to jack up that um, Xbox One or whatever wouldn't be able to handle. So of course you have your quick item bar at the bottom, your health at the bottom right along with ammo and stuff. The bottom left is your energy bar and above that is your quick aug bar. You can holster your weapon and of course you got your quick slots for your items that you can set to, you know, whatever at the bottom. I don't know if you can actually see the mouse cursor. I'm going to just assume you can't. But uh, you can set that however you want. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. Gonna have to hack keypads. You should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. All right. So you also have your quick aug bar. Obviously, we don't have many augs, but uh, you can either set one for just a quick access one, or you can set it right next to it. There's a plus symbol. The F1 through 4 keys, I think, you can set whatever you want. Like, you got the Typhoon right now, which is awesome. That's a... I consider that the ultimate weapon. That is a badass weapon. And then you got your Cloak. Just a... can't believe they're starting you out with a Stealth Legs. Eh, not really crazy about them. All right, and then, of course, the inventory system. The Fall had a buy, you know, a purchase inventory, which was pretty cool, but this is your typical... You can flip whatever one you, you know you're looking for. Here's your augmentation screen. We're pretty jacked out, as you can see. Um, I don't think we have any available. Does it tell us? Yeah, it's Praxis Zero at the bottom. But you can click the one you want, and then look how many odds you got. Oh my God. There's so many, and it, go, it has a video, and just, it's absolutely insane. There's even a crafting system, which we'll have to play with. You got your mission, and then, of course, your side ops. So, anyways, let's get back to it. Yeah, the, um, got the graphics. We'll make this video a little longer than uh, the other ones, just because it's the... What the hell? Oh, that's a sandstorm coming in. Damn. Looks like a nuke. That's a big boy storm. Yeah, we chucked the hell out of that. The storm's coming. Look out. All right, how do we get through here? Oh, smart vision. Oh, we got something here. It's like a fault in the wall. That's pretty cool looking. I think they're starting us with like max energy. I can't really tell. Turn on the power. That's back there. Boink. Here we go. Hey, 
lucky lucky. Uh, I wonder if we're immune to it. No, we are not. That's the thing, you can become immune to EMP, you can become immune to poison gas, uh, flash grenades, all sorts of stuff. Oh uh, yeah, this looks... It looks much different. It really does. See, with my eyesight, at least the arrows are showing. Level 5 node. You want to fortify. Anomaly detected. Gives you extra time. Trace Always program fortify. Initiated. We got plenty of time. Access granted. Easy peasy. Alright, we're gonna skip the tutorial. I think that's one of the last you see where a picture is? You can literally go wherever you want. This is new. I'll do another sweep in the area, just to make sure. Just the two. We'll wait for him. Oh my god. That was much better. The melee cutscenes have always been horrible. Oh, he's way down there. Let's drag his ass over here. Oh yeah, he's way down there. Come on over to daddy. Damn. I need my hold on a second. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, so that's what they do. They just turn all that stuff off to make it extra hard. Where's your gun? Oh, there it is. It's pretty awesome. So he wants us to go to the elevator. We're not going to go through the elevator, though. I think... There's a wall break right there. Alright, well, let's go through here and then uh, we'll end the video. Access granted. Oh, that, this is so easy, hacking. As long as you fortify it, it's really easy. What the hell's that? Oh, wow. You got options? Oh, you can move it? Oh, 3D modeling. It's like AutoCAD stuff, like Iron Man. Oh, that's really cool. So it tells you all about it. Oh, cool. There's slots on your weapons. You can, uh, it tells you how many slots you can add stuff to. Oh, that's sweet. That's, oh, that's just delicious. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. You can bust locks open now. I don't know why you couldn't do that before. Alright, got some drink. Get out of here. <laughs> Chuck the thing. Oh my god. Alright, so we'll land on top of the elevator instead of... Alright, let's do it.
It's automatic too. Oh, that is sweet. Did that use energy? I think that might have used energy. Oh, look out. Oh yeah, a couple guys there. Alright guys, well we'll end the gameplay here at the uh, elevator and then uh, we'll move on from here next video. But I think that went really well. A good tutorial kind of for you guys on how it works. Show you how all the UI is. And you may already know all this stuff and it was kind of eye rolling for you, but um, I try to just, this is what I do with all of them. It's not, uh, it's not a, you know, just walk through. This is an, a fun LP. So. Hopefully you guys liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate, and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, as always, later.